<coughs> I've had this like all week. Although, but yeah, Saturday. Well, don't get me sick, man. We're You're, stuck up and cooped up in this a, room together. A very high possibility that. Oh no! I'm going snowboarding. I can't get sick. Ah, oh, snowboarding sick is the worst. Everything's yes. all cold and your snot like I don't know, I wouldn't even want to snowboard if yeah, I was sick. Oh, if you get me terrible. sick, man, I'm going to send you a postcard tomorrow. You're send me a postcard. A postcard huh? of me hating on you. <laughs> all right, guys, at the right of this man. Much shows. love, HD from Tahoe. I hope you die in a fire and burn in a blazing fire. Die in a fire. All right, guys, so uh, on the right side of the map, we have got uh, Empire Koss. He was able to tie up the series. He's a yellow Terran on the right. And uh, speaking of dying in a fire, his command center is actually on fire. Uh, and uh, on this map, <laughs> yes, fan user, on this map, on this map, uh, the command center is oh, on fire. I yes, you get you. my hand signal. I now. got you. Yeah, I thought you were just like doing no. like this kind of thing, man. This whole time. Who knows with you? You're so random. Everybody in chat's like, "What the hell are they doing?" Oh, oh what the hell is Gonzi doing? He's Once again, I think we X. have the proxy marauders. Mm -hmm. Depends on whether or not he gets gas, but I think he will. It's a tw it's a twelve rex proxy marauder. We'll see if he gets gas. He's got 80, 90. There it is. So gas follow up. And it will be the Proxy Marauders once again. Let's see if you can make it work this time. This map is actually much smaller than Antigua Shipyard. Yeah. It's a much better map to do it on, I feel. We're I, gonna get in there real quick. I definitely agree with you. The uh, only other thing is, I think the barracks is gonna be a little bit more easily scoutable than Antigua Shipyard, because Antigua, you can place it at the third. Here, you've gotta place it right at the natural, as Gonzi has done already. But, uh, you know, this can definitely pay off dividends. Uh, there is no wall coming up quite yet for Empire Cost, but he could certainly finish this off with two more supply depots. And he's going to have to do that. Otherwise, the Marauders will make their way inside the main, and that could be very troublesome for Cost to deal with. Gonzi's got some serious balls. He yeah. just put his put his racks right out in front of the in front of the natural. He's put his racks where his mouth is. Right, right after doing the exact same thing in game one. And he's just like, nah, he won't even scout. No way. He won't expect me to do it twice. You'd think he would actually put it like right here or something? Or like back here? I definitely think this is the map to do it on though. Mm. And not even back there. I mean, I think this time he's just going to go right for the throat. And just go for it right mm. off the bat. Yeah. No hesitation. No fear. Oh, he's, gonna, he's oh. already building a bunker. What? How does Koss what know? The? He's building a bunker straight up at the front. You know, this could be just off of his... Uh, his first game against Gonzi on Antigua. You know, he realized that Gonzi is capable of going for the proxy barracks, so hey, why not invest in a bunker? It is salvageable, it's not that expensive, and uh, it can definitely keep you safe from what exactly this? Yeah, but still, I mean, such impressive game sense without scouting anything. Did he scout anything? Check his vision real quick. So without seeing anything, mm -hmm. he's got that bunker up. And this bunker is so smart. Pretty much going to shut down the Marauders as long as you get a repair here. Uh, the Marauders starting to get a shot off, but as soon as they see the bunker, they pull back. I don't know why Gonzi left his SUV yeah, there. Yeah, suicide that <laughs> SUV. The uh, SUV's arm just rolled down the hill right there. <laughs> I saw that. Oh, and, and he's just going to immediately scout. He's not even going to follow this up with additional Marauders because it has been shut down. Mm. Well, he did this He's going to pick off the two depots, though. Yeah. Which finish. makes this build kind of worth it, to be honest. Hmm. Well, it really does. I, you know, that actually makes a lot of sense because it, at the very least it's going to force your opponent to pull SCVs off the line, which is lost mining time. You can bring the barracks back if you want to. You're only investing in two Marauders. And really the only thing is uh, a tech lab that you're permanently going to lose. Yeah, that's really your only uh, loss. And he's actually picking off SCVs by forcing them to repair mm. and then taking them out. So very good job by Gonzi thus far. But it looks like Koss is going for the exact same thing he did on Antigua Shipyard, which is a quick Banshee. Uh, didn't quite pay off for him in the first game. We'll have to see if he can make it work in the in the third game here, as the supply depot is burning down. He's trying to get more SCVs to repair. Oh, it looks like he close. Uh, gets his... Oh, he loses his supply depot. Not good. And considering the mining time he lost from the SCVs already, that's a definite big punishment here for Koss. Yeah, now he's going to try and work his way over to the other side. Wait, where'd the Banshee go? Oh, he it's going straight to the main. So supply blocked right now, being user. Yeah, he really is. Oh, Oh my god, if he loses this supply depot too. I think he will. Oh no. Meanwhile, his Banshee is making its way inside of Gonzi's main. The starboard is not up yet though, so Gonzi won't be able to build a Viking and he's 
He's not supply blocked yet. Uh, finally, oh. Koss is out of supply blocks, so he can actually build units now. Gonzi has absolutely no anti air right now. Pain user, it looks like Empire Koss is going to get a so ton of SCD here. kills. Yeah, I really, really think that this is going to be a big, big loss for Gonzi as his SCV count is starting to diminish. He's already lost 10 this game, as you guys can see on that tab. And uh, really, it doesn't look like uh, Gonzi is doing that much damage in return. This is what I thought that. Uh Koss was going to do last game. I'm surprised he left so early. Why Why'd he leave? I don't know. Why? I have no idea. <laughs> the SCVs are distance mining. That may be why he's left. He's going to try to catch the SCVs as they come back. Oh, okay. Yeah, and here we go. He's going to start to pick up the SCVs, but you know, that distance mining saved Gonzi a little bit because it bought him time to get a Viking out. Wow, he just killed so many SCVs on the way out of there, and he might keep the Banshee alive. 15 kills on that Banshee, and it will live to fight another day, so very well done by Koss right there. Yeah. Um, but Koss is, uh, you know, right now Supply actually ahead. Again, he just had to drop two more depots and use a call down supply. Oh, did he get the first shot off? It looks pretty close. I think both armies will trade here as the two Vikings. Oh, no! Oh, there oh, it is. Wow. Yeah. At the very last second, he gets its uh, Viking missile off. And uh, both Vikings actually end up killing each other as Koss grabs his natural and he's got way more SCVs. Check if uh, Gonzi has vision of the add on. It does give you vision. Oh, it does give you vision. And it uh, looks like <laughs> Koss here says, Yeah, I don't need your tech lab. I'm just going to kill it anyways. You should steal it. Yeah, totally. Oh, oh, is he going to do it? No, he's not. Uh, looks like he's going to let the uh, tech lab go down. Very interesting. And it looks like Gonzi right now going for cloak on his banshees. You know, this is kind of risky considering that uh, Koss already has a starport. And, of course, he's got an extra orbital, so you can get quite a bit of comsat down. You know, usually Cloak Banshees are pretty good in the beginning, but right now it's already 9 minutes 30 seconds. Do you think this Cloak Banshee is going to be really that effective? Well, it depends. I mean, Koss is transitioning into mech, and on top of that, it doesn't seem like he's saving scans. He also doesn't have an engineering bay. Mm. So Koss could actually be in a lot of trouble to these Cloak Banshees, quite depending a, on how things go. Quite a few factories from Koss European user as well. Yeah. Just a thing to note as he's mass pumping Hellions right now. Oh man, that's quite a few Hellions on the field right now. He's already got five and about two, three more on the way. So he's got six plus two. That's going to make eight. Oh, look at this. Gonzi gets his Banshee in here. Got one kill. Got two kills. That is the Banshee with the cloak, as we were mentioning before. And no anti-air, no comsat, ready to go. And all of a sudden, Gonzi returning the favor to Empire Toss. Yeah, he needs to get those Vikings over there to deal with that uh, Banshee. He has enough energy. He doesn't have the rest of his Vikings there, though. He only has one. Oh, man. Why isn't he pulling the SCVs? He's just letting more workers go down. Oh, God. Oh, no. What is he doing? And he finally gets a second Viking back. He's going to kill it. Yeah, he will kill it. Oh. But I think he could have pulled SCVs out of there and kept his advantage. Does he have enough for another scan at the main? Hmm. Well, let's see. That looks like the main is saving up energy. He does have enough energy, and that Banshee gets picked off at the pass. Oh, and that's a lot of resources where the Banshee's inv invested in. Banshees and Cloak, obviously, mm -hmm. um, both of which went down right there. So Koss taking even more of a lead, uh, especially in the supply as well. And Gonzi's actually trying to press the action even more, which I feel is a terrible idea on his part. All of that could get cleaned up so easily if Koss just decided to attack or come back and clean that up. He can just land his Vikings. He has a ton of Hellions. And I think that's exactly what Koss is going to do. He's going to land Almost. his Vikings, and he's just going to go right for the throat here. <laughs> Raise the supply depot that Marauder was blocking it for a second. He raises it up. It almost looks like, you know, Gonzi is going for a base race scenario here. I mean, uh, he can't fight this army off on his own terms, so he's going to try to kill off the opponent's SCVs as best as he can. And he is delaying quite well with the supply depot wall for now, trying to get up missile turrets inside the main. But oh man, the Blue Flame Hellions have made their way inside, as well as Gonzi's forces. But there's a tank waiting here. And the tank will go down. The SCV is unable to repair it, but there's, uh, it looks like actually Gonzi's going to do some pretty good damage as Koss is the same thing. Well, I mean, I, I think Gonzi does, does not have an army capable of dealing with uh, Koss's army. That's for sure. Well, and he, he has two SCVs. orbitals as well for additional scans, so I don't know. We're just going to have to wait and see how this plays out. Yeah. Uh, looks like a Viking for Koss comes out. That will shut down the Banshee. Yeah. <laughs> tank comes out of missed enemy forces and will get picked off. And, uh, yeah, pretty much a base race right now between these two Terrans. But I, I agree with you. It looks like Empire Koss has a slightly larger army. Supplies actually pretty close. Uh, only two more SCVs for Koss. So, well, it is actually kind of close, man. Yeah, it is kind of close. And oh, wow. 
Gonzi realizes that there's really no way for him to win that game uh, and ends up bowing out right there. I think it was actually the Banshee because uh, Koss has a Banshee and Gonzi has no anti-air. Yeah. So that actually was probably why what prompted him to say, you know what, I can't win against a Banshee. Yeah, there's no way. Mm -hmm. So base trade scenario, but Koss ends up taking the game and Koss, of all people, is actually up 2-1 to one over Slayer's Gonzi here yeah. in this best of nine series.